Welcome back guys. Uh, in this video um, we'll be looking at question 11 and this uh, question usually falls under the general topic on the syllabus vectors and matrices. Okay so let's quickly get into it. Question 11 part A they're asking us to determine the inverse of the matrix 3, 5, 2, 4. Now just a quick recap on matrix. Let's say we had the matrix Z and the matrix Z is equal to A, B, C and D. Okay, now if you're asked to find the inverse of this matrix, the first thing you'd want to find is the determinant of Z. Okay, and the determinant is really, um, let me just color code this, A to D would be called the leading diagonals. Okay, and B to C would be called the non-leading diagonals. Okay, so really to find the determinant of Z, first you would have to take the leading, which is A times D. You're multiplying that and then you're subtracting BC from that. Okay, so that would be the determinant. Then um, the next thing you'd want to do, you'd want to find the adjoint. Okay, so in finding the adjoint, that's the adjoint of z the adjoint of z would really be equal to what is happening here you're switching around the leading diagonals um, that's a d so you're going to change places so here you would have a d and here you would have an a and then you're basically just changing the signs on b c which is a non-leading diagonals okay so i'm just going to be simply changing the signs so instead of having a positive B, I'd have a negative B and a negative C. Okay, that's all you're doing. All right, so that would be my adjoint. So basically, the inverse now of the matrix Z would be really one upon one upon my my determinant, which is A D minus B C, and that would be multiplying. Okay, my adjoint, which is D minus b and then i would have a negative c and i would have a, a there okay so i'm just taking my determinant here and multiplying it by my adjoint and that's how you find the inverse of a matrix so let's now quickly see how it applies to the question that they're asking us to find okay good so let's answer the question now so i'm saying part a part a First, we have to find the determinant as we have suggested. So the determinant, DET for short, is equal to, and as I said, I will take the leading diagonals, which is 3 times 4. So I'm going to say 3 times 4, and I'm subtracting from that 5 times 2. Okay, so I'm saying 5 times 2. Now, this would be equal to, we know 3 4s would give us a 12 minus 2 5s, which is 10. So my determinant would work out to be 2. Okay, now I need to find the adjoint. That's the next thing I need to do. So my adjoint, adjoint of the matrix must be equal to, and I'm taking, as I've said, I'm taking the leading diagonals and I'm switching places with them. So 3 and 4 is going to switch places, so I'm going to have a 4 and a 3 there. And then 5 and 2, I'm just simply going to change the sign on those. So I'm going to have a negative 2 and a negative 5. Now, that's my adjoint. So to find, therefore, my inverse, okay? So the inverse of the matrix. So let's say this matrix was, for example, A, okay, and A was equal to, to that matrix. I could then say then that the A inverse, okay, the inverse of A must be equal to, I'm going to place 1 above my determinant. Remember, my determinant was 2, so I'm going to say 1 upon 2, and I'm multiplying that by my adjoint, which is 4, negative 5, okay, negative 2, 3. Okay, because remember, I got my adjoint from here now, and that would be our answer. Okay, so it's that easy. Uh, feel free to leave, a, com leave a, a comment or ask a question if you're still not sure, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye-bye.